It's really interesting when you see posts like this, and I've seen a lot of people on the left, these middle-class people who are saying, oh, we support these female things. Um, It's interesting, isn't it? Because it's as if... It's as if the left really want the working class. They're encouraging the working class. Is It's usually the working class who is affected um, to stay poor, to encourage them not to work, to progress. Because there's no benefit, is there? I mean, if you're going to get free heating and free food and free everything, well, you know, there's no there's no incentive to bother. I mean, you might as well not bother go to school. Well, why bother? There's just zero incentive because you, you're encouraging people, you're paying them to stay poor. That's the incentive. I mean, when you're giving away free school meals, you're telling parents to, well, they can spend money on other things, which is usually cigarettes for some beer or whatever, living an unhealthy lifestyle, because that's the incentive. It's, um, you, you're incentivising people to be, to not achieve. I mean, again, with the private schools where you're asking to pay tax, it means people are incentivised if you're, to send kids to school if you're struggling. I mean, a lot of people are work. you know, there's a lot of people working class who actually are on massive wages who actually put all their money into private education for their kids because they don't want them to, you know, they want them to succeed. Uh, I mean, this should actually disturb a lot of people. It's not, this isn't kindness. This isn't, you know, when you see middle-class people posting, you know, these left-wing middle-class going, I'm for part in faith girl males. Ah. But what they what they haven't well, they're not they're doing it just to look good on Twitter, aren't they? I mean that's you know I'm not impressed by them. They make me vomit to be honest. They're disgusting people because they don't care about people. If they did, they'd be saying this isn't a good thing. This isn't a good thing because you know a lot of these parents can afford the fee, you know, to pay for the kids. But, you know, if if you give people, if you pay for them and provide everything free, then they, you know, they're free to spend money on other things. There's no, they're not, they're not going to go out and work. What's the point? Um, I mean, in reality, you're encouraging people to have more kids and stuff. It's, it's a disgusting way of doing it. It's keeping the poor down. Like I always say, you know, when you pay girls to get pregnant because you give them free houses... That's not that's not good for girls. That's not a feminist thing, is it? That's you know that's um, encouraging the part to not bother with the school or education. There's no point. And that's why you see. I mean, it's always interesting that. And this is the thing: what these leftists never really disclose. I admit, to, uh, admit. To, you never see middle class people in this cycle. Ever. But maybe they do a bit, but it's unlikely because the incentive for the middle classes is always to succeed, you know. They don't go looking for free housing. They save up, a, you know, to buy a mortgage. They'll stay at home until they can afford to. The cycle isn't there. They don't go looking, you know, it's presumed you're going to buy a house, blah, blah, blah. Yet, if you take somebody who's working class... The incentive there is always kick your kick, kick you know get if you've got a girl especially kick her out as young as she can, once she's sixteen, boot her in and get her pregnant. That's incentive. There's no incentive to say give a damn about your kids going to school. That's just fairy tales, because there's no need to. You know the incentive there is don't work. That's because your whole family don't work. You're incentivized not to. You're incentivized to see how the system works, which is, for a lot of people, if you're male especially, to now become ill and, you know, go on the ill benefits. The more benefits, the more ill you encouraged to be, the better, you know. Good mental health, you can just declare that. Get the old um, happy pills from your doctor and then you're on good money then. And that's usually the way to do it. All these things are incentivising people to stay poor. And then all the middle classes can feel good about themselves setting up charities like food banks. And I keep saying, you know, 
that's phony that in these labour areas when you know you've got speed cameras and you're charging people to drive in areas and you're taking money from there that's phony when you say then you're looking after the poor when you're taking money from them I mean, what would it cost me to go into London, I think, in the car? There's, I think there's at least two lots of charges. It's about 40 quid. I can't afford that. <coughs> <coughs> so I've still got old cold. A bit of a tickly cough there. Um, you know, and yet... <laughs> I mean, this is reality. I mean, you've got this mayor going on about free school meals to parents who might be having to pay 40 quid a day or whatever it is to, you know, drive around London for work. It's... It's hypocritical. You know, it's nonsense. And you see this in, you know, other areas where, you know, like I keep saying, Bradford's introduced it now where you have to pay to go in, I think, or... I mean, the thing is, they'll say, oh, certain cars are exempt. Well, first of all, most people aren't going to bother checking. They're not going to waste the time looking online. They just just won't go. And if they are, I mean, it's usually old car. I mean, one of the nonsense about um, this, by the way, is a lot of these areas where they're banning diesels and stuff, they forget that people actually put in biodiesel, you know, they can put, cooking food oil in your car and drive as green as anything. I mean, diesel actually can be quite a green car if you use cooking oil. But unlike other countries, there's all these silly taxes. You have to pay tax on it. I mean, in Germany, I believe you don't. But there's always... I mean, it's all down to making as much money out of people as you can. I mean, that's all it is now. I mean, everything's just pretense. It's just money, money, money. And then you just give people a bit back in free school meals. Well, you know, probably, it doesn't probably cost a lot to shove free... I mean, I think it's down to primary school kids. Well, you know, just a few baked beans and they break the bank. I mean, you're making more out of your charging people driving into London and stuff. But it just, it's just endless, isn't it? I mean, in reality, but like I said, in reality, and if Labour do get in, the, if you've got any sense... Get the sack, you know, go on the dole, because you'll be better off. No one with any sense would be, you know... I mean, that's that's the message. Get get the sack, get if no, you know, because let the state look after you. Don't go out the house, because the moment you do, you'll be charged. Road from, like, oh, you know, speeding cameras and whatnot. Just don't bother. There's no... You know, even going for a job interview was just too much of a nightmare. Um, I mean, you can't blame anybody for not. I mean, apparently people don't want jobs now. Why would they? Why would anybody want to go out and get a job? There's no incentive to work. There's certainly no incentive to set up a business. I mean, that would be... You know, in the UK, you, you bar me if you're thinking of setting up a business. I mean, pff, unless you're like a lawyer or something where the money's going to be huge. Setting up a shop or something is just, you know, it's just pointless. The rates and everything are just so ridiculously high. Um, I mean, I, I often wonder how, you know, some shops survive. I mean, I go past a lot and there's no customers. Um, anyway. But like I said, I think, you know, there's part of me wonders if all these lefties are just cruel people. They just want the poor to stay poor and they're, they're, they're finding new ways to... Pay them to stay par. It's, they're not. They don't come across. I know they think they do. I know they're going. Oh, we're so nice. But in my mind, they're not nice people. They're cruel and evil. It's a disgusting thing. But you know, people vote for this rubbish, won't they? People vote for you know. They sit there, all these silly left wingers, because they think it's about being nice. As they cycle up and down the little bikes with a silly little bit of plastic on the head. Wearing the little fake non-medical grade mask, telling everyone to live in lockdown and live in fear. Um, you know, it's just constant <laughs> nonsense. And then they'll tell you to not have any free speech because the moment you think and say anything for yourself, you're clearly a racist or something. I don't know. I mean, it's boring now. I just get bored listening to them. It's just rubbish. I mean. 
They can watch the news anymore. It's just garbage. It's just rubbish. The endless rubbish we get from the left. You know, it's this is sexist, that's sexist. I just think to hell with it, a lot of them. I don't care anymore. I've got no regard for these people. I've got no respect for them. I think they're all just meaningless twits wanting to pretend to look nice and don't really think about what they're saying. They never, you know, they can never usually back up their beliefs and always put you on block. Block, 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 block on Twitter because they, they don't think, they, they have no ideas. They just, they just want to sound like the good people. And that's all they are, weaselly people. And like... Now, I saw some weaselly, weaselly woman going about her kids being ill because um, they were obviously you know, sent home from lockdown and didn't build up uh, you know, the immune system. So now that...